In an historic debate, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump going head to head in the first presidential debate of the 2024 election cycle hosted by CNN in Atlanta Thursday. The candidates taking the stage without shaking hands. For 90 minutes, the two leaders squaring off, laying out their plans on key issues like the economy and job creation. We created 15,000 new jobs. <clears throat> we brought out in a, a position where we have 800,000 new manufacturing jobs, but there's more to be done. I gave you the largest tax cut in history. I also gave you the largest regulation cut in history. That's why we had all the jobs. Much less Both tax. candidates agreeing to certain rules, like appearing at a uniform podium and muted mics so only one candidate could be heard at a time. At some points, intense exchanges. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. My son was not a loser, he was not a sucker. You're the sucker, you're the loser. Voters got a sense of where the candidates stand on important issues like immigration. We opened the borders, nobody's ever seen anything like, and we have to get a lot of these people out and we have to get them out fast because they're gonna destroy our country. When he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were and then the families were separated. That's not the right way to go. And their vision for abortion access. Right now, the states control it. That's the vote of the people. The idea that states are able to do this is a little like saying, we're going to turn civil rights back to the states. Let each state have a different rule. If re-elected, President Biden would end his presidency at 86, and Trump would be 82. Age has been a central issue for voters. This guy's three years younger and a lot less competent. I took two tests, cognitive tests, I aced him. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting.